Starting today, local students will get an important lesson about the dangers of alcohol and drug abuse. Today actually starts National Prevention Week, and here to talk about this special program with us, Martha Putnam with the Hanley Center Foundation. Thanks so much for coming in today, Martha. Thank a you very for important me. topic. First, let's talk about this new grant that you received to help fight drug and alcohol abuse right here in our area. Yes, we have funding from the Southeast Behavioral Health Network uh, mm -hmm. through a prevention partnership grant and Department of Children and Families. So this allows us to bring prevention programs to over 7,000 wow. students in Palm Beach County alone. So this was a big deal. Yes. A really big deal. Um, so you talk about really trying to outreach, getting the attention of children. How young? Mm -hmm. Are you talking teens? Are you talking middle school? Are you talking elementary school? We do have parenting programs for parents and children in elementary schools, but for alcohol prevention, we really focus on the middle school and high schools. Why is it? I mean, we know why it's so important, but research mm -hmm. and studies really show that we've got to target them young, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And our job is really education. So with Alcohol Literacy Challenge, uh, the program that's actually at LC Swain today and tomorrow, mm -hmm. uh, serving over a thousand students just in that one school, uh, it's basically taking uh, a, a moment to educate them on the difference between the physical effects of alcohol and the mental effects. All of the things that people think that alcohol does for them, but it really doesn't. And so what, what do you find is the biggest misconception for young teens, or maybe why do you think they get involved when they do? Why is it a problem? I think that most teens and young uh, children actually think that most kids are drinking. And in fact, we know that most teens in Palm Beach County are not drinking alcohol. Hmm. They're making the right decision. So we really wanna emphasize the positive feedback so that they get positive peer pressure instead of the negative peer pressure. So one of the things, everybody else is doing it and actually that's not the case. That's true. All right, and so you actually have some things going on that the public can get involved in. Tell us about it. Yes, this week we have uh, one of our Spring Symposia series. Mm -hmm. uh, it's education on prevention. We have Andy Duran, uh, Executive Director of LEAD, Linking Efforts Against Drugs mm -hmm. from Chicago, oh, wow. coming down for two days. The first day is in Vero Beach, and the second day is in uh, at FAU, okay. the Jupiter campus. Okay. So he's really gonna take all the community that shows up and lead people how to make behavioral changes, not just educational changes. And for parents, and grandparents out there watching and thinking, man, you know, I need to get some more information. I need to maybe have that talk with my with my teen. How do they get in contact with you guys? How do they make that first step? Our website is the best way, and that is www.hanleycenterfoundation.org. And from there, there's links to parenting information, to our symposiums, everything they need to know. All right. Unfortunately, it's a problem we've been talking about for decades and we'll continue to talk about, but you guys are doing great work in our community. Great. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it.